Do we even need dashboards anymore? I know, coming from a BLA consultant, that may sound a little sacrilegious. And it's not even clickbait, I promise. But given how fast AI is evolving and the way it's reshaping how we use data, I think it's actually now a serious and fair question to be asking. So this video is going to be a little different from what I usually make. It's not a tutorial or top tips. Instead, I want to walk through a few thoughts I've been having around dashboards, AI, and the future of business intelligence. This video is for analysts, consultants, and honestly, anyone who works with data and is wondering where it's all headed. And if this departure from my usual content is something you'd like to see more of, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let's start with the typical BI setup we all know. So data comes in from various sources, CRM, e-commerce platforms, ad platforms, etc, etc. Some of it is cleaned, structured, prepared, and perhaps ends up in a warehouse, or it's connected directly to a BI tool. From there, the BI analyst creates dashboards, filters, charts, KPIs, visuals, you know the drill. Stakeholders then use those dashboards to monitor performance and ideally spot trends, ask questions, and make decisions. The dashboard is the final product. It's the thing we point to and say, here's your data, now you can act on it. But here's the thing, that acting part still depends on someone being able to interpret what they see. And more often than not, they need help doing that. So what was the point of dashboards in the first place? It wasn't to make data look pretty, it was to surface insights, to give people the ability to make better decisions. That's the actual goal. Dashboards were just the best tool we had for a long time. But they're static, they're passive. You still have to dig, interpret, and explain. And let's be honest, not everyone has the time or skill to do that well. Even experienced stakeholders often look at a dashboard and ask, okay, so what does this mean? Which is where AI comes in. AI has the potential to move us closer to that real end goal, insight. Instead of dashboards showing metrics and hoping someone connects the dots, what if AI could just deliver the dots already connected? Now, BI tools are aware of this shift and many are adding AI features. But right now, they're missing the mark. Most built-in AI features in dashboards don't analyze anything. They describe what's already obvious. Revenue is up 10% this month. Product X has had the highest sales. That's not analysis, that's narration. AI isn't being used to explore data or find patterns we didn't already visualize. And it certainly isn't telling us what to do next which again is the actual value people want from data. But here's the exciting part. AI is now capable of much more. We just have to stop forcing it to live inside dashboards. What if we gave AI access to the actual structured data, bypassing filters and visuals, and let it analyze the raw trends? What if we prompted it like we would an analyst? What if we stopped asking it to tell us what's in the bar chart and instead said, find out what changed last month and tell me why, or give me three customer segments we're likely to lose, or even tell me what actions I should consider this week. That's what I've been working on with the BI Summarizer framework, and the results have been incredibly promising. So do we still need dashboards? Yes, absolutely. Because there's still nothing better at doing what dashboards were designed for in the first place, and that's giving stakeholders a visual, at a glance snapshot of business performance. That's where dashboards still shine. There's a huge difference between being told something and seeing it for yourself. Dashboards support visual reasoning, they help you spot outliers, get a feel for seasonality, or track a specific KPI over time in a way that's instantly intuitive. There's no substitute for that kind of visual, do you see what I mean? So dashboards aren't going away, but their role is changing. They're no longer the final destination. They're part of the journey, one that now increasingly includes AI. And yes, AI is incredibly powerful, but it isn't omniscient. It can explain your data and even offer actionable insights, but it doesn't know your full business context. 
It doesn't understand the nuances, the shifting priorities, or the one-off events that might be influencing your numbers. So that's my take. Dashboards aren't dead, but going forward, they may no longer be the main event. If you're a BI analyst or consultant, this shift is something you need to be ready for. And if you're curious how I'm using AI to go beyond dashboards, why not visit bisummarizer.com to take a look at what I've been cooking up. If this resonated with you, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon in the next one. Bye.